Look at this. Look at this professional YouTuber. Right. We've got Smiley right here. We've got another tag. Alfie. Oh, sorry. Uh, Alfie. And this time, this time we uh, identify as a BMW. <laughs> uh, that long blob. Has, has he roped you in for, for, for filming his stuff now? Look at this. Hi, yeah. So apparently it's not coming home even though the side says it is. So <laughs> we'll see tonight. We'll see the squidding detailing. Leave a lasting impression. Uh, yeah, we, we are going to have to try and clean it again. So, no way. So while Adrian is doing his thing, I'll put him in the background. While Adrian is doing his thing, he's doing this thing on his TikTok and his socials, which is brings a car over at any point and he gets people to draw on it. Come in, draw whatever you want and do whatever you want. And surprisingly, there isn't many a penises. I will have to bleep that, but cocks. Some of the stuff. Oh, you wrote that, I wonder. Super bro. Donald, where's the super? Mm. Okay. Hey Ellie, was this you? I think this is you. Hey guys, sorry for the big, uh, I guess, uh, big wait because uh, we, me and Ellie have moved in together and we've got a place of our own. So it's been a bit stop hazard on the filming, but yeah, welcome to another guy, uh, another episode of that guy in the hybrid. As you can tell, I've not done this in a while and we're here at Cars and Coffee. A lot of the cars have left. As per usual, I've been marshalling and today we're going to have a look at what's left basically. We start off with this car. So I guess we'll start off with this Mark 1 that's right next to my car. There's some changes, but we'll talk about all the little changes in my car later. But this car, my God, I don't know if you can tell, that is truck bed liner. <laughs> yeah, he's truck bed liner the whole car. It's freaking fantastic. And it's got the bikini top on it. It's freaking amazing. And then let's have a look at Gary's car. You're going to get my fingers in because I'm going to turn this around. Okay, so this is Gary's car, right? And it's epic. He does a sprint series in the MX-5 sprint series. Look at that yellow. Are you going to say hi on the channel? <laughs> Hi everybody. Are you going to talk about my car? Your car? My oh, car. your my car. car. <laughs> my car. <laughs> yeah, so um, quarter miller supercharger, um, BBR cams, lightened throughout um, because that stops me from needing to go on a diet. <laughs> so it was either go on a diet, stop eating kebabs, or spend a lot of money on on lightening it. So I went for the right option, I think. <laughs> I think the correct option that you should have gone for. God, it's an awesome car. I think hopefully we'll go on some drive outs so that he can show us. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Show us how, yeah, yeah. how well it does. Yeah, definitely. It's a really good, really good, really good build. And then we've got. Oh, hey guys! Oh, You're gonna say hi on my YouTube channel. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're just talking about you know superchargers, something that you should probably get for your sprint series or a turbocharger. <laughs> Maybe get those numbers below 50, 60 seconds. I wish. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> no, standard that's aspirated. It's, it's more of a challenge. <laughs> if I had more power, it would be easy. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. There we go. Race, ra race car driver uh, excuses coming out a little yeah, bit yeah. there. <laughs> I did another. I did a, a grass auto test with Nuxford. Did um, you? Two weeks ago. No, a week and a half ago. And I wasn't last. <laughs> ah. 
Well, there you go, second to last. Is no, no, good. I was 12th out of 20. That's actually good. That's a you and that was going that was going backwards as well as forwards. You made it to Q2. I, if it was F1, there we go. That's that's more than enough. People get paid for that. No, you well done actually. That's actually I don't think I've got Right. Okay. So we've got the road static one here. Good friend of mine, Andy Neal, in this 370Z or 350Z. God, I'm getting my cars wrong today. Um, look at this. Hey, it's a JDM model. Freaking amazing. Um, but yeah, so Road Static has been a good sponsor of us. You alright? Shit car. Oh, car. don't say that. That's I'm going to tell Andy man. that. I don't care. That's the. <laughs> don't care. <laughs> Um, and then this is Ant. So Ant is, let's just say he's he's an OAP, and this was his retirement project, right? So imagine retiring and being like, you know what? I just want to do whatever the fuck I want to my RX8. So he's had this new, still the same engine as the one he had when he bought it. But look at it. It is actually awesome. God, look at the wheels, hey. And yes, you are correct. That is a nitrous bottle. Love that for you. All right, so let's have a look at the back of Andy's car, my God. This, that is fucking cool. I fucking love that. Such a cool little car, hey. God, it probably makes me want to get a 350Z. I don't know though. Who knows? Anyway, look, so many cars. So a lot of the cars have left, but we're gonna have a look at some of the old ones. Can you see the Corvettes there? Proper stingrays, my God. Okay, so we've got a couple of sing rays here. I don't know what Adrian's doing. Just parking in front of everything. My God. Look at the operating engine. Holy shit. would you have I love how both convertibles are red as well <laughs> that's awesome gated manual as well my god MGB GT yes I know I know the background you can see the GTRs but let's have a look at this first MGB GT this is this car uh, when I was training to be a mechanic was the first car I learned how to reset and jet carbs. Yep. All of my carb knowledge comes from that. Oh my god. Got an R34 and an R32 GTR. Jesus wept. And you know what? I love these wheels because you wouldn't really a BBS wheel is really a German thing, isn't it? You'd put it on a BMW, on a on a Volkswagen. But on an R34, oh my god, it looks perfect. I don't know what the colour is, I think it's like steel grey, stark grey, something like that. And then obviously, 33 in midnight purple. My god. I love the carbon fibre accents, I don't know if you can see there. Got carbon fibre bits there. God, I've missed so many cars, all the cars have gone. Jesus Christ, look at that interior. Oh my god, look at this, it's awesome. Which one would you have? <laughs> Ooh. 
That is beautiful. E28, it's 5 Series, I'm pretty sure. That's cool as well. I quite like the wrap. It's quite a nice little wrap in here. The Lambo doors with the, the, the icing on the cake. <laughs> Holy crap. I was excited about this Mercury here, right? Because this is like basically like a, a, a Crown Ford Crown Victoria, isn't it? Um, but the Mercury version, but what's next to it? I think it's not an A50R, what are they called, V70R? Right, we'll go on to that in a second, because I'm going to see if it's got the space ball. Look at this thing, oh my god. <laughs> oh, god I want something American. Just the, the sheer size of it, and oh, what's that? What is that? Someone, someone in the comments tell me what that is. Oh my god. God, so this is a Mercury Grand Marquis, if I'm correct. Let's go to the back and see if I'm right. Mercury Grand Marquis 4.6. Oh, V8. Holy shit! Holy shit! This is awesome. It's actually well cool. Again, you know me, I just like the weird cars. Okay, let's get to this one because this is the R, and if it's got the space ball. Which I'm hoping it does. Oh no, it's an auto. It's alright. Oh, V70R. So, all wheel drive, five cylinder, 2.5 turbo, if I'm correct. Someone, someone tell me if I'm wrong. Pretty sure five cylinder, two wheel, 2.5, all wheel drive. My god. I love some of these. <laughs> R35. So I think it's a preface. My God, Advan GT racing wheels. Holy shit! Holy shit! That rear wing. If you want to follow the guy on Instagram. My God. So I'm gonna say I'm actually really sad. I didn't get to really start this a bit early and start filming but obviously with cars and coffee being run by all of us at manchester ms5s i've been a bit busy trying to get everyone in the right place um unfortunately we couldn't bring the mx5 down because well yesterday we found out that it doesn't actually have an mot um, so we're gonna sort the brakes out and actually i'll give you an update on the mx5 because you've not seen it since uh, we got some work done to it but it still needs a bit more work but yeah, this has been Cars and Coffee. Well, <laughs> whatever's left. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And remember, follow me on Instagram, which will be in the links below. And if you give me some love, I'll give you some love back. Ciao, Mata.